Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Mm, I'm fine. Excellent. Thank you. How about you? Hmm? How about you? I'm fine too. Ready okay. for another week? Yes. Excellent. Another week. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Voy en camino. Le aviso por si acaso me pasan ahí en grupo. Okay, okay. Maria is still walking. Are you walking, Maria, or are you in the bus? In the bus, teacher. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Okay, we are. Maria. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, good evening. Are you at home already? Or are you still in the way? I'm in my house, teacher. Excellent. All right. Hey, that's nice. That's nice. Sometimes the 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 work is more difficult, right? And you have to be there late. Let's see, Maria. Okay, we're working. Well, on the way. Let me see. I'm going to call you. Checking the attendance. Let's see who are who are here. Mm -hmm. uh, Admiral Doni, present. Alexa Marcela. Alexa. Ana Luisa. André. Present teacher. Okay. Angie. Mujer Angie. Arely Isabel. Present teacher. Nice, nice. And Erling. Irma Noemi. Carla Milena. Present teacher. María Epifanía. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. Mauricio Antonio. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel. Nancy Katia. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening. Silvia. Oscar. Present teacher. Me había perdido. Siempre trate de conectarse aunque vea la clase después, oye. Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Thanks. Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. I e. William. Here, right? Present teacher. Camino. Okay. Ah, on the way. Okay. 
Vamos yes. a ver. Anybody connected after I call you? Sí, Erling. Present teacher. Me? Okay. Erling, Silvia, creo que sí me dijo. Present. Ok. Y Irma. No, ya, perdón. Mauricio. Angie. Annalisa, Alexa, Adoni. Present, teacher. Adoni. Yeah. Okay. Ya. Papá. Papá. Nice, nice. Ya somos clean. Excelente. Ahí está Mauricio. Ah, está lloviendo, dice Mauricio. Okay, see, it's going to rain today, but you're here, right? Let me see. Where do you live, Mauricio, teacher? Mauricio, where do you live? I don't know. Where do you live, Mauricio? We want rain because it's very hot in here. <laughs> I see it where Erling lives is very hot, right? Yeah, it's very <laughs> hot now. Wow, see, it's the, it's the weather. If it doesn't rain, it gets really, really hot. Let's see. Ooh, Mauricio here. Yes. Okay. Well... Nice to see you. I'm going to share the screen. Today, um, we have a new topic. I'm not sure if you have studied that before. I don't remember that you tell me, right? And it's the past. We're going to be talking about the past today. Uh, we're going to be using the past of the past of the verb to be and the past of other verbs, right? So we have, um, we will have a list of verbs, regular and irregular ones. We're going to have uh, uh, to study the rules of the verbs and you will see, uh, try to discriminate which verbs are regular and which ones are irregular, right? I know it's not easy, but don't worry, we're going to do a couple of exercises there to, to, to practice, right? Okay, so talking about the past of the verb to be, the past in affirmative form, so we're going to be using other verbs, right? So we're going to be identifying regular and irregular verbs. That. Uh, the objective says participants will be able to write three sentences using the past of be and the simple past in affirmative way, correct, right? So you're going to use the verb to be and some other verbs, but we're going to talk today only about affirmative, right? Only about affirmative. So we're going to be doing a couple of exercises on tonight, right? Well, I have a couple of questions. We're going to discuss them quickly, quickly, because the main point today is to study the rules of the past and to study the, um, and to see more sentences in the past, right? This is just talking about some customers. Why do you think Customers call. Why do they call? What do you think? Why do you think customers call? Uh, sorry, teacher. I have a question. Yeah. This question is for customer service and uh, uh, in like any... a call center. 
um, in any company that sometimes customers call for any reason, just because they have a question or because they want to uh, have the question about the use of something or because they want to complain or things like that, right? But why do you think, why do you think customers call? For example, I think customers call when they, uh, they when they don't know how mm -hmm. to use a product uh, or for the questions about the product to ask questions about the product, see to ask about how to use a product. Another or situation. for the problem or for the problem have... with the product. Uh huh. Exactly. What else? Another case when they call, they when people buy wants to, to to buy something. When they want to buy, exactly. They may call because they want to buy something, right? So those will be in some situations. What do they usually ask for when they call? What do they usually ask? For example, they can ask you, what time do you close? Or what time do you open, right? So they can uh, try to know a little bit about the, the, the schedule, right? About the schedule of the company. What other thing could be that they ask? Do you think that they could ask for the for the price of something? Would that be possible? Hmm? One would be time, not time, no money, right? <laughs> one would be time. Another one could be for the price. How much is a product that they have or that, that the company sells? Or I probably, think, uh huh. I think, teacher, the most common, uh, the most common calls that the customers call is uh, when they, for example, uh, an idea. Uh, sorry. Uh, for example, when they don't have uh, internet in their house and ah. they call for it. Okay, okay. For example, if they want to... for the, the warranty the or, one. Uh -huh. or the other size about the same product. Exactly. Um, just with information, general information, maybe. Well, general information about the product. Sometimes they want to confirm, right? About the existence of a product. Um, because you see the, the, the product probably online, or you think they sell that product in that company, but they want to be sure that they will find that product, right? So that could be a situation. Now, what type of information can you share with a customer? Probably um, there is some type of information that you cannot share with the customer. But what are what is the information that you can share without a problem? For example, we can share the price of the product. Uh huh. Yeah, you can share the price. The existence of the the existence of the product. The yes, of the product. It could be when the product have a discount. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Or warranty policy. Yes, to ask for the warranty. What else? 
you can ask also for what else? Uh, for example, it could be uh, how many days the the product have is in, in promotion. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly. If there is something on sale, for how long you will have that sale? Yeah. Um, how can you help customers? How? Talking about general information or talking about the recommendation for the products, for the use in the products. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. Another reason or another situation, how you can help? We can help them. Uh, when they need uh, information, uh, for example, the warranty, we can help them. Uh, if the, for example, if the, if they need to fix something. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's a, a way of of helping the the customer is answering questions, right, for the customer. Okay, very good. Now, check this. Uh, we have uh, a couple of phrases here. These are, uh, it says, listen to the teacher, read the words and repeat. Right, what do customers and companies representatives do? Here, we are going to divide the 12 uh, activities that we have here between the activities that the customers do and the activities that the company's representative do, like airline sales, what are the customer service, right? So the customer service will be the representative of the company, right? And what are the activities that the customer does? And what are the activities that the customer, that the company's representative does. Okay, let's check a pronunciation first, right? Pick up the phone. Repeat, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Understand. 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 Explain. 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 Complain. 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 Help. Complain. Help. 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 Request information. Request information. Get prices. Get prices. Get prices. Yeah. Provide one's information. Provide um, one's information. information. Assist. Assist. Buy. 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 Call. 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 Oh, receive. 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 Okay. Receive. Receive. Okay. Do you have any questions about any of these words? This teacher, I don't remember what is complain. Complain is quejarse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, people call, right? Uh, to say that they are not happy with something, right? That's complete. Any other question? Any other question? No, teacher. No? Bye. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia la número dos? Number two is understand. 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 See. Understand. Okay. Understand. Understand. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Any other question? 
No teacher. Okay. No teacher. Nice. All right. I'm going to send you to the groups right now for about five minutes for you to go and divide, right? This uh, words into two categories, one the customer and the other one the company's representative. Let me see. You're going to be in pair in groups, groups of four. You see, yeah, that will be groups of four. Let's join. Page 29, chicos. 29. If you can join the group. Page 29, okay. Good evening. Hi, Angie. Hi. Eh, ¿Hay más compañeras disponibles o están como Good evening. evening. Y ahí veo a María, Angie. Ok. Alexa. Alexa. Hello. Angie. Espérame que cargue. Ah, esta. Uh, 29. Right. Page 29. Hi, teacher. ¿Verdad, teacher? Eh, perdón. 29. Eh, the page 29. Sí. ¿Verdad de que tenemos que hablar de los puntos acerca de una llamada, verdad? Ah, exacto. Ok, ¿tenemos que hacer algún role play? Eh, no, solamente sepárenlo entre cuál va para el costume y cuál, cuáles son las cosas que hace el, el representativo de company. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, ahorita nos ponemos a okay. eso. En lo que me carga la imagen, no me quiere cargar. Oh. Yes. Ok, but the first one, it's to pick up the self, the, the phone. Espérame que no me quiere cargar esto. Um, si alguien más lo puede compartir. Yo lo tenía, ahorita veo. Sí, porque no me quiere cargar. Es lo malo el internet. Vean. Bueno. Igual está. La compartió. Oh. Sí, pero sin ahí en el chat, pero si no ya la voy a copiar en Word y la puedo Ajá, para que sí, la porque, compartamos. Sí, porque a mí no me la quiere abrir. Ok, ahorita lo hago. Ok. 
vaya, este, vaya, hay que separar lo que hace el cliente y lo que hace el representante de la compañía. Vaya, entonces si lo separamos, eh, comenzamos con lo del representante. Dice pick up the phone, sería lo primero que hace el representante. de de company ajá represent hello hello we are on page 29 en el manual manual page 29 vamos a hacer dicho perdón yo no estaba, no estaba van, a separar, van a separar el vocabulario eh, de qué cosas hace quién, qué, co qué cosas hace Hola. la gente de Customer Service, eh, que es el company's representative, ¿verdad? Y qué mm. cosas hace el customer. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Pero Elena. Pero Elena dice Ahorita. Vamos a ir a la mamita y a la mata afuera. No la costa, no la costa, la cama, Hola, hola. Hola, teacher. para que te Sí, ok. Ok, teacher. El... Teacher, hola. Eh, ahorita tengo problemas de conectividad porque aquí está lloviendo mucho ahorita, mucho relámpago. Está lloviendo más. Pero sí, sí, pero estoy nada más de oyente, por cualquier cosa. Ah, vaya, vaya. Sí, teacher, thank you. Entonces, Irma, customer. Quiero ver, sería. Mmm... Dicha, no importa si son otras áreas de, 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 de una empresa, por ejemplo, el contador. Eh, no, piensen en, en los. en qué es lo que hace el, el cliente y cuáles son las cosas que hace el representante de la empresa. Mira. Mm. Yeah. Eh... Ah, no quiero ver. The customer request. Pide información de algún producto. El customer. Mm, no piensen hacer un producto en, en, en information. Su so, producto en general. About a product. Vaya, en un cuando un cliente ha, por ejemplo, si un cliente llama. ¿Qué hace el, el de Customer Service? Lo atiende. Ajá. Entonces, eso es lo que ustedes van a separar ahí en, en las categorías. ¿Cuáles ah, son las uh -huh. cosas que hace el Customer y cuáles son las que hace el, el de Customer el, Service? Compa. Ajá, sí, sí, sí. Ya. Ya. Mm, ya.
Sí, igual yo pensaría que sí. En el caso de, del cuadrito, sí, solamente eso, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces nos queda una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Y los representantes sería el pick, what the phone. Ajá. Ajá. El hair, Ajá. El, hair el, el número 9, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se pronuncia? El 9. Así. As, me aparece a mí. Así. Así. Sí. Así. Como de asistencia. Así. Ya. Así. 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 Solo Como tres veo yo para pero... poner el company. Pero ve, ah. no, el company me, me quedaron uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Okay. Que sería el pick up the phone. El Ajá. Wonderstand. Understand. Understand. Ajá. Understand. Who has to understand? The customer or the company's representative? Um. Pain. Pain. ¿Cómo se dice ambos, teacher? Both. 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 I both. think it's both because the both. customer needs to understand and the representative needs to understand too. Uh -huh. Exactly. <coughs> El cool. ¿Cuál? Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no, ese es, es la. ¿Cómo eh, es? Recibe o recibe. 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 Recibir. El, el, el que recibe es el, el cliente, recibe el producto o el servicio. Mm. Oh. Uh -huh. El, el complaint, este, Ar, Arely, sería el ¿Hola? Customer. El complaint, complaint. complaint, sería el customer. Ajá, el complaint, sí. Sí, okay. el customer. Lo de bien. customer son lo de... El cliente. El complaint, el uh -huh. reque information. Uh, get please. Probably uh -huh. want information. Uh, Ask or oh, Ask the assist. 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 Sí, eso serían. Ajá, sí. sí eso y el, y el compa sí. company. 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 <ríe> Sería el pick what the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Eh, understand. Understand. <ríe> understand. 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 Eh, explain. Explain. Uh -huh. Explain. Explain. El uh, hair. Uh, solo eso sería. Four. Eh, so, no, yo también dejé el, el donde dice provide one information. Y el asisto. Ese está como company. Sí. Bueno, así me ajá, así lo dejé yo. El de company. Ajá, provide wine 
information. Ok, entonces sería five. Cinco sería company. Eh, I have six. Assist. ¿Cuál es el otro? Assist. Assist. Ah, ese también. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Six. Assist. Assist. Entonces son seis. A mí, yo, bueno, yo seis, tengo uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. En the customer, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, En el customer, yo tengo siete porque tengo uno repetido para los dos. Mm -hmm. Es que se lo understand. Ajá, correcto. Mm -hmm. Understand. Mm -hmm. Understand. Understand. Ajá. Ok, era solamente de ubicarlos, las, ¿cómo se llaman? Eh, las words, ¿verdad? The words. Yeah. Ok, en el 3, ese no lo íbamos a realizar, teacher. No, no, no. Ok. Ok. Que lo vieron. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Well, Okay. Minuto, minuto, entender. Bueno, let's go.
Okay, everybody back? No yet, right? We're still missing a couple of people. Can you repeat, please, teacher? Mm -hmm. Eight seconds. What, okay. did you, what did you say, Andre? I está. Oh, it's sí. everybody here. A ver. A ver, a ver. What do you have in the first one? Customer. What are the things that the customer customers do? Okay. Hmm? Uh, the words teacher. Yeah. Uh, the customer explain. Mm -hmm. Complain. Yes. Request information. Help. Buy, call, and receive. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the company's representative? Me again, teacher? Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Understand. Okay. Get prices, provide one's information, okay. assist. Okay, do you want to change anything? No. No? Okay, now I'm sharing with you. Check the customer complaints, yes. Uh, Gets prices, mm -hmm. yeah, gets prices. Provide one's information because when they call, uh, they have to give your name, sometimes the day of birth, a credit card number or some other information. So they provide information, right? <coughs> also, they have to buy. They have to buy, they have to call, or they call, right? <clears throat> they call and they receive. Okay, now what about, oh, they receive the information, right? They receive uh, answers, they receive prices. What about the company? The company picks up the phone, right? Understands what they, the customer says when they complain, they understand, they explain, they help, and they request information and assist, right? Those are uh, the things that we have for companies representing. Any question over there? Hmm? No teacher, everything is good. Okay. Question. Question. No question. Who has a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, why provide one's information on the customer? Uh, the customer, because when they ask you, uh, they ask you for your name, they ask you for some information that you want to share. For example, if you're, co if you're complaining about a credit card or if you want to know some information about a product, you have to provide that information. Okay. And the company requests for information like, okay, tell me what you need. Tell me the date, your date of birth to give me your... Uh, what is the, the number of track of the product? What is so they ask you for different information, right? Okay, perfect, teacher. Thank you. Okay, any other question here?
Any other question? No? But now, check. And what do customers call for? We are already mentioning, right, that they call for information, they call to, to ask for, well, basically to ask for information, right? Or to complain about something. Yeah, we were mentioning that at the beginning. What was the last call you had about? If you receive calls, what was the last call that you had? What was it about? Think about the last call you had. What was it about? Was it about a product? Was it about a complaint? What was it about? Do you don't receive calls where you work? Hmm? My last call was about price. About prices. Okay. The customers wanted to know about the price of a product. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. What about the others? The last uh, uh, the last call that I that I got when I was working in a call center was uh, for a credit card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other call that you received? Any other call? No more. Mm -hmm. No. Now let's go to talk about the past. Check. Remember that the beginning. Um. I I have a question. Tell me, Carla. Y no sé si se pronuncia bien, pero por ejemplo yo podría decir, uh, the customer is call for me because call me. Um, mm -hmm. Call me. Yeah. Because um they. Hiring a credit. No sé cómo se puede decir que ellos quieren adquirir un crédito. They want to acquire a credit. They want to? To get a credit. Uh, to get a credit. Mm -hmm. They want okay. to get a credit. Yes. Okay. Quiero encerrar mi propia sister sonda para no encontrarla. Bye. So, so check. Talking about uh, the verb to be in past, right? We use the verb to be in past when we want to talk about something, but using an adjective, you see? So you say, it was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. You were on our bench. We were excited. So remember when we use the verb to be, it doesn't matter if we use it in present or past. In this case, it will be in past. We use the verb to be last. Adjective, like in the case of great, right? Plus an adjective. Then you say the movie was fantastic. Adjective. Check. The agent was very helpful. Helpful is an adjective. We were excited. So we use the verb to be plus an adjective. We also use it plus a noun. 
right? Last and now, or a place. So you can say, I was at home. I was at home. I was at school, right? So we're talking about place. I was at school. I was at the office. I was in the market. Where were you? I was in the park. Oh, I was at the beach. So we can use the verb to be with place. Or we use it with a noun. Do you know what? Two years ago, I was a student. She was a child, right? She was a very good woman. So I did it now, right? So when we say you were on our page, page is a noun, right? But we can say, hmm, but that's place too, <laughs> right? We're locating is something that you are on our page. That means we're keeping the same with me. Now, check. We say, uh, it was, I was, he was. In this case, the agent was. The agent can be he or can be she, right? So you say, he was or she was. But for plural, we are going to use where. Then you say, you were and we were. Right? So if we're talking about a plural, we use where. Any question over there? No questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. I am going to share with you a link. I told you, right, today we are going to do some practice in a link. So I'm going to send you the link over there in the group. Go to the link, if possible, right? I hope you have no problem. Okay, go to the link and choose. You have only two options to choose there. Or to choose was, or to choose where remember was is for singular and where is for plural right go ahead tell me if you were able to enter mm -hmm. no problem did you enter the link yes Yes, yes. Was or where? So you choose the correct option. Then do we Yes. Okay, see you tomorrow. Dice Silvia, my Silvia. Who is it? Te voy a poner así para ver si es a mí. Solo mandarlo. Sí. Ahí la tengo de ver. Sí. Check. Okay. Uf. Perfecto. Perfecto. O sea, que sí. Were you able to enter? Yes, the Yes, yes, teacher. Excellent. 
Arne Radoni present. Alexa. Present, Alexa. teacher. Yeah. Present. Okay. Eh, Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Present, teacher. Ana Luisa. Andrei. Ahí está. Angie. Tell me, teacher, tell me. <laughs> okay. Presente. Nice, Angie. Ah, está llamando la lista, teacher. Adelie. Sí, it's starting to rain here. Adelie. Sí. 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 Ok. Erling. I'm here. Ok. Irma. Present, teacher. Nice, nice. Carla Milena. Present teacher. María. Marta. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel. Marta. Ok, Miguel no es mierda, ¿verdad? Nancy. Present. Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. William. Present teacher. Siempre voy a pasar lista al final, oye, pero no vaya a ser que alguno se me desconecte porque ya empezó a llover. Ya los tengo cambiando. Sí, ahorita va empezando acá. Delicious rain. <laughs> But the noise is a lot. Okay. Very good. How was it? Easy. At the end, you can check, right? At the end, you can check and you can ask for a showing the answer if you want to see the answer in case. In case you mistook anything. Okay, no voy a hacer esta noche, Dios quiere. Nice, nice. See what I was telling you there, singular plural. I was, I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, you were, and they were. So you say, I was sleepy, she was wrong. We were happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, she was wrong, we were happy, they were teachers, plural, right? I was in France in John. So check what I was telling you, right? Uh, adjective, adjective, adjective. But teachers are noun, and in France, that's a place. Mm -hmm. Any question? Any Not the chair. Not the chair. Okay, but. Uh, Okay, questions, no questions? Did you finish? Yes, I finished. Okay, perfect. 
Now we're going to talk about simple past, right? That simple past with other. Selena, great. ¿Quién es Apac? Okay, great, great, great. Oh, okay. Andrei Parto Camacho, teacher. <laughs> okay, Andrei. And we have Mil and I have only the initials. Only Sylvia has to be. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. Great, great, great. That's easier than writing. I know, I know. And I know when you're online, Mm -hmm. It's easy to do these types of exercises, right? Okay, now check. Moving to talk about the simple past. We're going to do uh, the simple past, but in affirmative. Here we have a combination of regular and irregular, but I'm going to separate them anyway. And if we cannot cover the irregular ones, we continue tomorrow anyway. So we have all the way for that, right? So we have, I gave my account's information. He called yesterday night. Aquí le vamos a tachar el ad. Y ya les voy a explicar más adelantito por qué. The program worked well. They bought that product last week. Okay. Now, as I said, here it's a combination of verbs. Uh, I'm going to share a couple of things. Check. When we use the simple past, we're talking about a past event or something, right? Can be whatever that happened in the past, right? For example, if you say I stopped at a zebra crossing, when you see the street like this, and this part where you see these lines, eso se llama zebra crossing. See, you have the street here. Mm -hmm. Ay, qué bonito. Uh, so sure. In the one, um, I can I can say I was stopping at a zebra crossing. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Es si no. Vaya, check. ¿Por qué no? Porque usted se paró. Se paró, no se estuvo parando, parando, parando. ¿Verdad? Es una acción que pasó una vez. Esta es la zebra cross. Okay. In every street we have a zebra cross. Ok, that sería, right? Vaya, ¿por qué decimos I stopped? Porque llegué y me paré. ¿Cuándo? Una vez. De un solo, right? Y no llegué y me estuve parando y parando. Usamos el, el past continuous eh, when we are talking about, let's see, when we are talking about something that is taking a progress, entonces usamos el past continuous. Pero si hablamos de algo que pasó, en cualquier momento en el pasado, y pasó, pasó. ¿Verdad? En ese caso usamos el pasín. Entonces decimos, I stopped at the zebra crossing. ¿A dónde paré? Allá, at the zebra crossing. I stopped at the zebra crossing. We carried on. We carried on with the test. We played the tennis. Every day in August. Ya pasó August. El August del año pasado, ¿verdad? And we play tennis every single day. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Another situation where we can use the past is when we have a state situation. 
without an action happy. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, we stayed at my grandparents' house last summer. ¿Dónde se estuvo? At my parents' house. I stayed in a hotel. I stayed in a hotel last week. Es un state, ¿verdad? We stayed at my grandparents' house last summer. Where were we? We stayed at my grandparents' house. Ahora, we're going to study a couple of rules. When we talk about this, the regular verbs, we are going to, as I told you before, we're going to divide it in two, regular and irregular verbs, right? First, we're going to see the rules for the regular ones, and we're going to use, um, or to study a couple of expressions to use in the past, right? And then we're going to see if we have enough time to cover the irregular ones. If no, we continue to move. But check. With the regular ones, we have verbs that are, uh, when you add ed, you form the past, verdad? So you have start, started. Clean, cleaned, jump, jumped, cook, cooked. If the verb finishes in E, for example, like, in that case, I'm going to add, <laughs> okay, in that case, we say, like it. Light, clean, clean, ¿verdad? Pero si yo tengo, por ejemplo, love, igual termina en E, ya no le voy a agregar ED, solo le agrego T. Love, you see, I only add T. Love. Check it. It is very important. I know this is one of the most difficult things. But it is very important to know which verbs are regular and which ones are irregular. See? In internet nowadays, you can find lots of uh, lists of verbs to memorize. Mm. No se ponga a memorizarse el chorro de verbos que se va a frustrar y después va a decir, ah, que mucho cuesta. Entonces, no, 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 no. Vaya aprendiéndose. Uno, dos diarios, unos tres diarios. Lo importante acá es que usted sepa diferenciar cuáles son regulares y cuáles son irregulares. ¿Por qué les digo esto? Porque los, los regulares tienen reglas que las vamos a estudiar ahorita. Los irregulares son los que hay que memorizarse. No queda de otra. Pero igual, vayan memorizándoselos poquito a poco, poquito a poco. No vaya a tratar de aprenderse 50 verbos de un solo, que lo que va a su suceder es que se me va a frustrar y se va a asustar y va a decir, ah, mucho cuesta el inglés. Y no es necesario, ¿verdad? No es necesario que se lo memorice así todo de un solo, poquito a poquito, poquito a poquito, puede ir haciendo tarjetitas, poniéndolos por aquí, por allá, por donde usted pasa, ya se aprendió esos tres, se aprende otros tres, y así va. ¿Ok? La idea es que poquito a poquito, poquito a poquito. Para check the rules. With the verbs that finish in me, ¿verdad? With said, le agregamos ed para hacer el past. But if they already finish in me, I'm going to add only t. Me? Like, light, skate, skate. Ya tiene I, ya no le agrego más. And agree that has to E, igual. I only add one more D, and that's agree, agreed. Like, light, skate, skate. If a verb has consonant, vowel consonant, como en este caso, stop. Don't pay attention to the two consonants that are before. 
pay attention to one, ¿verdad? One consonant, vowel, consonant. If I have one syllable only, right? This is a verb with only one syllable. So you have a stop, stopped, check, consonant, vowel, consonant, you double the P, see, double the P, and then you add ED, stopped, stop, stopped, plan, igual, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, igual, I double the end, and then I add ED, ¿verdad? Plan, plan. Tenga mucho cuidado, y por eso es que les indico que es bien importante que usted sepa cuáles son regulares y cuáles son irregulares. Aunque no se aprenda la, todavía el pasado, pero saber si es regular o irregular es bastante, ¿verdad? Porque ya sabe que a los regulares les va a aplicar estas reglas, pero a los irregulares no. ¿Ok? A los regulares les va a aplicar esta regla, pero a los irregulares no se la va a aplicar. ¿Ok? Por eso es que es importante que sepa cuáles son. Ahora, if I have a, a, a verb that finishes in Y, like the case of try, that, that, we have a consonant before that Y. If I have a consonant before Y, for example, try, Carry, Mary, I will use, I will make a change. And I change the Y to I. And then I add it. ¿Verdad? Carry, I change the Y to I. And then I add it. See? Try, tried, carry, carry. Mm. But be careful that you have a consonant. Before Y. If I have a vowel before Y, I cannot do that. If I have a vowel before Y, I only add it. For example, play, play. Enjoy, enjoy. It. Porque tengo una vowel before Y, no una consonant. De acuerdo. Any questions over there? Questions? No. No questions. Bye. Which I have here uh, some verbs. All of them are regular. See? All of them are regular. A ver, let's make the past. So we have play. What's the pass of play? According to the play. 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 Exactly. Play. Walk. Walk. Hmm? Walk, walk. What about walk? What's the pass of work? Work it. Oh, work. Watch. Okay. I added it. Watch. 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 Check the pronunciation. Watch. 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 Por estos días vamos a hablar de la pronunciation hoy. Que independientemente de cómo se... Sí independientemente de, 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 qué, de cómo se hace el pasado, va, tiene su propia pronunciación. According to the end. A ver, listen. What's the pass of listen? Uh, listen. Listen, yeah. Listen. Yes. Wait. Wait. Um, Wait. Wait. Check. 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 Check
check. Checked. Ask. Ask. Want. Want it. Mm -hmm. Want, want it. Call. 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 Deliver. 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 Decide. 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 Only give it. Huh? Work. 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 Warn. 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 Wash. Hmm? Wash. What's the pass of wash? Washed. Washed. Wow. You try. Wash the wash and try. Try it. I had remember we eliminate the Y and then we change it to Y. Is that okay? Turn. Turn. What's the pass of turn? Any idea? Turn. What's the pass of turn? Hi, hi. Turn. Turned. Uh -huh. Turn, turn. Question. 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 Observed. 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 Need. Near it. Needed. Live. Lived. Lived. Laugh. 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 Kill. Oh. Kills. Oh. Killed. Kiss. Kiss. Kissed. And invite. 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 Right? Easy. Is that easy? Hmm? Very yes. very. <laughs> very 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 easy. Correcto. Easy easy. Okay. Va. Before I send you to work. Fine. Ya los mando por ahí. I want you to 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 make a matching, right? I'm going to I'm going to send you to make a match. What you're going to do is identify oh, what is the regular of what is the regular of the verbs. Okay. What's the regular? Or oh, what's the past? What's the past of the verbs? I'm going to share with you.
what you're going to do here is complete. And there you go. I list them. Check, check. Check if you can enter. Check, check, let me know. Were you able to enter? Yes. If you cannot do it uh, right now, you can do it later, right? So you let me know how you're doing with the signal. Can you enter? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Remember, you have to write the past, right? Write the past according to what you know, write the past. Following the rules that we were talking about. Teacher. Hi. Hi. Este, hay una, la de dry. Eh, uh -huh. Pues termina con, con y. Eh, hice el cambio por dry, pero me aparece mala. Drive, veamos. Uh -huh. Live, drive. What is drive? Eh, D-R-Y. Dry. Ah, dry. ¿Le hizo este cambio de I-E-D? Sí, sí. ¿Le eliminó le la Y? Cambio. Sí, se le eliminé y le puse I-E-D. 
pero me aparece. Y se la pone mala. mala. Uh -huh. Sí, ah. me la pone mala. Teacher, eh, a mí también me la puso mala. Mm. Seguramente tuvo algún problema la, la, la... Ah, pero dice 10 de 10, pero le pone mala. <risa> <risa> ok. Pero sí. <risa> Algo ahí pasó con el color, pero Ajá. sí la, la está poniendo como... Bueno, sí, de hecho la pone mala, porque creo que es como que hace un redondeo y por eso lo aproxima, pero, pero sí la está tomando como mala. Ah, ya le vamos a señalar ahí entonces. Uh -huh. Y en el caso de Play, ¿por qué ese es como, lo, lo pone como la forma base? Si también termina con Y. Play tiene que ir con... Y the only, porque antes de la Y tiene una vowel. Ok, ok, thank you. Ajá. Recuerden que el cambio se da solamente cuando antes de Y tienen una consonante. Mm, Pero si antes yeah. de Y tienen una vowel, entonces no, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. De acuerdo, muchas gracias. Mm -hmm. How are you doing there? Okay, how are you doing?
remember to apply the rules, right? <clears throat> Any questions? No, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Move, ah, move, quizás por la mayúscula, se la puso mal. It right también es probable que por la mayúscula. Hot y pinned tienen que ser con double, double consonant. En este, porque no le puso consonant, eh, no le puso double consonant, stopped. Pinned, clapped, popped. They have to be with capital letter. Wait, wait. How are the others doing? Everybody finished? Not everybody. Mm -hmm. I have here. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. four. So the others are still missing, right? right?
how many have finished? Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. One more minute and then we'll continue. One more minute. Okay, well, let's move, let's move, let's move. Now check, let's talk about the expressions of time because up to the moment we have been using the verbs, right? Now let's talk about the expressions of time that we uh, are going to use when talking about the past. Check, we have last week expressions with last, right? For example, last week, last night, last month, last year. But you cannot say last day, but right? you say yesterday. The day before yesterday is ante ayer, right? The day before yesterday. But last week, last night, last month, last year, last morning, you can say last morning too, yeah? Two days ago, expressions with ago. Two days ago, three weeks ago, five months ago, seven years ago, 30 minutes ago, five minutes ago. So all expressions with ago, right? They are used to talk about the past. Also, in some other expressions with last, we can add days of the week. For example, last, so, last Monday, last Saturday, last Tuesday, last or, or seasons, last summer, last winter. La, you can say last winter, it rained more, right? Last winter, it rained a little bit more, right? Yesterday night, check one thing. So, uh, you know that with expressions like at night, we use at night, right? But when we have uh, an expression of night, uh, an expression like this, yesterday night. Remember in the book, in the manual, I corrected uh, because it said yesterday at night. When you use in this type of expression, you don't say yesterday at night. You say yesterday night. Yesterday night. El at is not necessary. 
yesterday morning. I don't say yesterday in the afternoon or in the morning. I say yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon. Aquí no es necesario que le pongan nombres, okay? If you talk about years that are already passed, like in 2021, in 2001, if you remember, there were two earthquakes in 2001, right? In January, in May. We began this course, if we want to give the time, do you remember when we began? We can give the time using on because we have the complete date. Do you remember when we started this course? Who remembers? For me, we started on May. We started this course on May 29. Yeah. On May 29. So <clears throat> if I only tell the year, I can say in, but if I'm going to say a complete date, I can say on, on May 29, on May 10th. But you use it to talk about a date that already passed. Remember, we're talking about expressions of time that we use when talking about a past event. Mm, something important here is that when we use expressions of time to talk about the past, they go at the beginning, at the beginning, or at the end, right? So you say, last Monday, um, I started a new course. Or, I started a new course last month. Last week, it rained very hard. It rained very hard last week. So you will see the sentence. Talking about the expressions of time. I'm going to move, I'm going to move this example before before I send you to do the exercise. Check. We went to a club. Me, aquí está la expresión of time. We went to a club last night. We gave her a doll when? Hmm, for her birthday. My parents came to visit me last July. I saw a movie. <laughs> When? Not long. I finished work, walked to the beach, and met some friends last week, last Saturday. I lived in Italy for five years. Or you can say, I lived in Italy five years ago. I played soccer, or I played football yesterday. He saw his family last week. Remember, when we're using an expression of time in the sentence, the expression of time has to go at the end. What is important? What I did. Oh, what is important? The time, I put the time at the beginning. Last night, I went to a club. Last July, my parents came to visit. Last week, I saw a movie. ¿A qué le estamos dando más relevancia? ¿A la acción que hicimos o, when, o cuando la hicimos? Si para mí lo más importante es cuándo hice esa acción, pongo el tiempo al principio. Para mí lo que es importante es qué es lo que hice, what happened, el tiempo lo pongo antes. Pero nunca en medio. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, no puedo decir, yo la semana pasada vi una película. Algunas veces así hablamos en español, pero en inglés eso no es posible. Right? So we say, I saw a movie last week. No puedo decir, I saw last week a movie. Eso se llama un error de word 
order. <coughs> Tenemos que seguir una secuencia en cuanto a cómo... Eh... Ok, Angie. Va, estamos, estamos siguiendo una secuencia de, de las palabras en la oración. Entonces... Acuérdese, el subject, el verbo y un complemento. Es sumamente importante. I have a subject. ¿Qué tal? I have a subject. Tengo un verbo. I'm a complement. Eh, y por ejemplo, y por supuesto, el tiempo que es, viene a convertirse en parte del complemento. Pero salvo que el tiempo lo puedo mover dependiendo de lo que le decía al principio, ¿qué quiero? Para mí, ¿qué es lo importante? ¿La acción que hice o cuánto? ¿Verdad? ¿Any questions up to here? No questions. No. Ok. Vaya, muy no, no, teacher. Ok. I'm going to share one exercise that you're going to do. Fíjense que por la mala señal que está ahorita, no lo voy a mandar al grupito, ¿no? que nos vamos a quedar aquí, ¿verdad? Porque no vaya a ser que, que se me complique la vida con la señal. Entonces lo voy a dejar aquí. I'm going to share. Um, I'm going to share this sentence. So you have my uncle visit last month. With that, and then we will do a couple of exercises from the book. But first, let's do this. Okay? Complete the sentences. Use the correct form of the verb in past. Verdad? Choose, use the correct form of the verb in past. I'm going to give you two minutes and then we'll check.
Okay, are you done? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Nice. A ver, number one, my uncle. My uncle. This is this is here. My uncle visited. Visited us last week. What about number two? I. Listen it. I listened. I listened to music with my friends. Okay. We. We studied. Studied. Mm -hmm. Okay. Studied. We studied hard for the exam. So we. We. Answered. Answered. answered yeah. We answered. We answered all the questions. And number four. Do you finished? You work. This is a homework, question. perdón. Yeah. Did you finish? Aquí nos estamos adelantando a mañana. Did you finish? See, did you finish your homework? No, I didn't. Okay, Karen. Karen. Ask it for help uh -huh. to Karen finish asked. here. Yes. Karen asked for help to finish her homework. And the last one. Maybe that's a question. Did, did, did you invite? invite? Did you invite it? Did you invite them to the party last week? Yes. Okay, nice, nice. Easy, Berta. Mañana vamos a entrar más en detalle con las negatives and questions. Okay. Now, we're going to make these sentences. Remember, uh, we have been talking about the past of the verb to be and the past of other verbs. And right now, what you're going to do is use the prompts given and write the sentences. For example, I was interested in the product. No tienen que desarmar, no tienen que poner en orden, porque solamente van a, lo que van a hacer es utilizar esas palabras y ver si necesita alguna otra más que agregar para escribir la oración. ¿Ok? We have five minutes. Let's see if we finish in five minutes. And then we check. That is in your manual, page 30 in your manual, right? Manual page 30.
Let me know when you finish. How are you doing? Almost. In process, teacher. Almost, almost. Pasa, pues. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué es cierto? No. No sé si yo. No. Pasa, sí. Pasa, sí. O sí, sí. Yo va. Solo se pide. No. Okay, ¿cómo vamos? The last issue. Teacher, I finished, but I'm not sure it's correct. Okay, vamos a ver el número uno. I, I was interested was, in the well, product. In the ¿Sí? product. Uh -huh. I was interested in the product. Number two. Uh, you were buying the item in December. Acuérdense que no estamos usando past continuous, sino que past simple, ¿verdad? Vamos a poner el verbo en pasado. Would you vote the item you in vote December? The item vote on December. Ah, okay. Yes. Vote. By irregular. Este es irregular, sí. You vote the item in December. Is irregular. Sí, es irregular, pero no cambia. El read es red, pero no cambia la pronunciación. She was she read. read. She read. She, was read. she read the policy. The policy. She read. Okay. Acuérdense mm -hmm. que les decía que el verbo to be solo lo van a usar con adjectives, con places o nouns, pero no con otro verbo, porque estamos usando presente, pasado simple, no pasado continuo. ¿Verdad? Vaya, number four, the supervisor. Okay. 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 Ese ya se lo dieron en pasado, sí. Mm -hmm. So the supervisor gave me a discount. Number five, they, they sent, 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 sent the contract sent. by email. Mm -hmm. They sent the contract by email. By email. I stopped a very nice. Ah, he nos was, falta una. He, he was. He was, he was disappointed. ¿Verdad? He was disappointed. Ahí está. Igual disappointed es un adjective. ¿Verdad? Por eso podemos usar was. He was disappointed. Very good. Ok. I'm going to stop sharing. 
And I'm going to call the last attendance. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. Uh, Alexa. Present teacher. Ana Lisa. Present teacher. Andre. Present teacher. Angie. Presente. Adeline. Present teacher. Erlin. Erlin. Teacher dijo que se le había ido la luz en la casa. Ah, sí. Con la lluvia. Con la lluvia, ¿verdad? Sí, pues sí. Irma Noemi. Irma Noemi. Carla Milena. Carla Milena. María Epifanía. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Teacher. Hola. Irma dice que también no tiene señal. Se le fue la señal, sí, que es cambio. Sí. Por Present, teacher. Irma, no, Marta. ¿verdad? Mar Marta, sí. Ok. Es que sí, venía con todo esta tormenta. Ya pasó, al menos aquí, ¿verdad? Pero sí se vino con todo. Eh, Mauricio. Pues, teacher, por aquí no llegó nada de lo que ustedes dijeron. Ah, Andrei. Qué barbaridad. Unas lloviznas y ya fue todo. No, aquí se vino bastante fuertecito, y de hecho se oían unos truenos por ahí, pero menos mal no llegó tan, tan, hasta acá, pero la tormentita sí, chiquita, pero, pero se sintió algo fuertecito. Marta Marisol, sí, me impresa, ¿verdad? Mauricio, Miguel, Nancy, present, Oscar. Silvia. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Ursula. Present teacher. William Chaban. Present. Nice, nice. Uy, Marta, le toca quedarse nunca. Bueno, see you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, nice. Nice. Thank you. Se sure. el calor. See you, goodbye. Good night, take care. Bye. Take care, bye bye. See you. Hi, Marta. Hi, teacher. Do you have any questions? Pues, por el momento, no. No, no tengo, no tengo dudas, teacher. Ahí aprendiendo. Pero ahí vamos. <ríe> <ríe> poco sí. a poco ahí vamos, teacher, tratando de entender. Sí. Y creo que con esto del pasado lo llevo al despacio porque yo sé que es, es uno de los temas que no es. ¡Wow! ¡Qué fácil! Sí, sí, cuesta, teacher, no, pero okay. poquito a poquito y vamos entendiendo ahí. Y fíjese que por eso les digo yo, no se vayan a poner a quererse aprender todos los verbos de un solo. Porque lo que sucede es que cuando se quiere aprenderse todo, se puede frustrar, puede decir, no, es que no se me quedan, y no, pues no es necesario. Con el uso es que se van quedando. Pero, ¿no? poco sí, a teacher, poco. pero poco a poco, sí, sí, ya practicándose. Poco a poco con el uso se van quedando. Y por eso es que yo les estuve mandando links mejor para que pudieran irlos usando, ¿verdad? Usando... Este, en las estructuras y usando los verbos. Sí, teacher, la están... verdad que sí, eso de hacer los ejercicios así me parece bastante, porque así uno practica. Sí, 
Y en vez de que estén solo en puro papelito, ¿no? Ajá, sí. oh, estamos en virtual, no, vale. en a papel, yo sé. Sí, sí, la verdad. Yo que sé, sí. yo sé, ¿verdad? Pero este, mm, lo importante es que ustedes sigan practicando y que sigan, que tengan la confianza, ¿verdad? De, de preguntar si tienen alguna duda, que tengan la confianza de poder preguntar y de poder este hacer verdad eh, los ejercicios y que si tienen consulta pues aprovechar verdad sí, no yo cuando no entiendo algo pues yo bueno ahí trato de la manera de preguntar verdad hay veces sí me quedan claritas las cosas pero hay veces sí me cuesta un poco pero ahí vamos sí es es bien importante en tener la confianza de poder preguntar, porque a veces se puede quedar una duda, pero es que no me da pena de qué van a decir. Y eso sí. es lo de menos. <ríe> eso es lo de menos. ¿verdad? Lo importante es este, lograr eh, comprender los temas y sí. poder, poner en práctica para poder hacer lo que se nos indica con cada uno de ellos. Sí, sí. <ríe> Mañana seguimos hablando del paz. Sí, sí, está bien. Sí, we're hasta going, que no going, sí. I know, I know. This is not an easy, an easy structure. There are many things to take into account, the expressions of time, the verbs, if they are regular, if they are irregular, how you form the sentence, because one thing is identifying the verb and another is using it in a sentence. Right. So tomorrow we will continue using the verbs in context and we are going to be working with the negatives. So okay. we have negatives and questions still. Mm -hmm. I see okay. and many of you manage the manage the questions and the negatives, right? But tomorrow we will have more time to dedicate to, to that part of the regular and irregular because at the moment of using them, it doesn't matter if they are regular or irregular. The moment right now, for example, at the beginning, it is important because you need to know what is the past. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. but when you are using it in an affirmative or negative sentence, It, in that moment, it doesn't matter if they are irregular or regular because the rules for making a question or the rules for making an affirmative sentence or for making a negative sentence are the same. It doesn't matter what, right? What okay. Are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but the idea is to get familiarized the most possible with mm -hmm. them. I want to see. If I can find a song for you to practice, right? So you have more, more fun practicing in your free time. So <laughs> while, while having lunch, while yeah. having lunch, you can listen to it, right? And, mm -hmm. and practice it with the verbs in past. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if you don't have any question, Nata, see you tomorrow. Um, Have a nice good evening, day. teacher. Good evening. Take care. Bye.